Welcome back everybody, so we're going to be making a vase today with a bit of colour So we're going to start by making it round using the mid-size finisher by Easy Wood Tools You were just standing there with the wind in your golden hair Didn't know your name But I could feel it with a very heartbeat Every time that eyes wouldn't be, didn't know back then. And even in my wildest dreams, I didn't think that Now we're going to switch to the mid size rougher. I'm just going to make an A tenon here. Switch to the detailer and then make it so it matches the dovetails of the jaws. That will be the jaws of the easy wood chuck. And back to the finisher. Continue making it round. And once again back to the rougher. Oh, we got to get turned it round now into the truck. Continue on with the mid-size rougher. And, and flatten off the end. Now we're going to bring up the tower stock for a bit of support. Now we're going to start doing Never some shaping with the mid-size finisher. Size rougher just so we can take out any ridges. And we're coming with the parting tool here just to define where the bottom of the vase is going to be. Okay, now we're going to drill in with the foursome a bit here. Alright, we're going to get on to some hollowing now, so we're going to start off with a number one hollower. And then number three hollower. And once again, back to the number one hollower. Off camera, I actually sanded the insides to 400 
and finished it with Sam and Sela and Yorkshire Grit and then finally with Amsterdam and uh, Original Wax. Just ran across the rim there. back to the outside now so as you can see I've already sanded the vast majority of it so now we're just going to finish up with some 400 grit sandpaper I'm going to wipe off any sawdust that's in the grain with some methylated spirits or denatured alcohol There's the black intrinsics from Hampshire Scene. I'm going to cover all of that. Drying it off now with a bit of friction. There you go. Okay, now we're going to sand all of that back. What that should do is that should leave some of the black in some of the grain. And then we can move on to the next step. So that there is back to the 400 grit sandpaper. There we go. You can see some of the black remaining on the uh, on the wood. Once again, wipe it down with methylated spirits or denatured alcohol. Just clear all of that dust. All right, so we've got the sunshine yellow from the Hampshire Team range. It's a new set of colours that has been released. Gonna put that all over now. It is uh, recommended that we put on a uh, an extra coat after this. So right after this one's done, we shall put on another. Very very vibrant these. Absolutely love them. All Hamster Team products that have been used in this video, there is a link down in the description if you wish to get any for yourselves. That includes the sprays, the waxes, the sanding sealers, uh, everything really. There we go, there's the first coat done. So now we're going to get onto the, uh, the second coat. Brings out that colour a lot more. Very nice. Once again, drying it off with friction with a clean paper towel. start seeing the shrine come through 
haven't even got to the wax yet. some pretty thin cellulose sanding sealer there's the first coat we're putting on okay, you see them colors really really pop so I put the first coat on let it dry for about 20 minutes um, and then come back and put another coat on. Just the power of the edit and the lock and did it almost instantly. It's actually really quick drying this fan in it didn't need 20 minutes. Lately I have had trouble sleeping, so I stay up late at night. All I want is to get some shut eye, but my thoughts are keeping me away. I don't know what it is. Oh, yeah. Went to the final stage, some Hampshire Sheen original luster. Wipe that all over, get some even coverage. Let the solvents evaporate and then buff it in around about a thousand to twelve hundred. Let the heat build up. And you're good to go. So thank you very much everybody for watching this video. Please remember to click that like button. Hit the subscribe if you enjoyed the video. And there's some pictures at the end. And until the next one, I'll see you later. Bye bye for now.